Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question which of the following structures does not pass anterior to the lateral malleolus. So in this question, they want to know which does not pass anterior to lateral malleolus. So first of all, we have to find out the lateral malleolus, then the structure which passes anterior to the lateral malleolus. Here the options, options are anterior tibial artery, extensor digitorum longus, lateral branch of the superficial femur, uh, peroneal nerve, peroneus brevis and peroneus tertius. So we have to find out one of the structure which not pass anterior to the lateral malleolus. So here we can see this is the, in the first picture, this is the lateral malleolus and in the second picture, this is the lateral malleolus and we can see this structure here this structure they passes anterior to the lateral malleolus so first of all see the structure which passes anterior to the lateral malleolus so here first of all this structure this is the tibialis anterior tendon so this is the tendon of the anterior tibial artery or tib uh, tibial tendon or tibialis anterior tendon then we can see this another tendon and this tendon is the extensor hallucis longus so first of all two tendon one is the tibialis anterior then extensor hallucis longus then we can see a vessels and nerve and these vessels is the anterior tibial artery here you can see this is the anterior tibial artery so anterior tibial artery and vein the nerve which is the uh, deep peroneal and superficial peroneal nerve then we can see the another structure which is the extensor digitorum longus so two tendon vessels and nerve then one tendon they passes anterior to the lateral malleolus in the second picture also here this tendon this is the tibialis anterior then extensor hallucis longus then here vessels and nerve present then extensor digitorum and in this picture this is also clear that this is the lateral malleolus. So this is the lateral malleolus and anterior to the lateral malleolus, they are this tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus, and also we can see the peroneus tertius. So this is important. This muscle is the peroneus tertius, which is located in the anterior compartment. But we can see this is the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis this peroneus longus peroneus brevis they lies behind the lateral malleolus so behind the lateral malleolus there is peroneus longus and peroneus brevis but peroneus tertius is located into the anterior compartment and anterior to the lateral malleolus and here the superficial and deep peroneal nerve also present here so in this picture it is also clear that this is the lateral malleolus and behind the lateral malleolus there is the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis and anterior to the lateral malleolus there are different type of the tendon such as the tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus and extensor hallucis longus so our final answer is now ready that is the peroneus brevis because the peroneus brevis it don't pass anterior to the lateral malleolus because the peroneus brevis and peroneus longus they located posterior to the lateral malleolus of the fibula and other structures such as anterior tibial lateral it passes anterior then extensor digitorum longus superficial peroneal nerve and peroneus tertius they are anterior to the lateral malleolus thank you all